Good morning, friends. It's Miss Hewitt again, and today um, we're going to be doing another math talk. So when I do a math talk, I'm going to be having my whiteboard out, and you are going to be writing down either on a whiteboard, on a piece of paper, really anything you want to be writing on, as long as your parents are okay with it. Um, but you do need to be actively participating throughout my math talk. So today I have a fraction problem for us to solve. I'm going to show the problem to you guys and then you are going to hit pause, write down the problem and then solve it yourself. Uh, like I said in the other video, this is a problem that you are able to solve on your own. It is a review. So again, I didn't make it too challenging, but I made it just challenging enough where you're able to do it and it's not going to be super boring. So you're going to do this math, this math problem and then you're going to hit play and you're going to watch me solve it and check your answer. So today the problem is two thirds plus three ninths. So you, it is two thirds plus three ninths. Um, you need to either draw a picture, use the least common multiple, or if you have another strategy, you can use that. So now is the time to hit pause, write down this problem, and then go ahead and get solving and hit play again when you have solved your problem. All right, guys, so you are done solving or you are wa ready to watch me solve. So we have two thirds plus three ninths. Got to get adjusted, sorry. So right, uh, right off the bat, you should notice that this, um, our denominators are, you know, we are family. Got to get singing like we're in Miss Chris's class. We are family. These denominators, three and nine, are families. So... Um, we should be able just to find our LCM and we'll be on our way to solving this problem. So when we find our LCMs, remember we find three to four of the common multiples or we find three to four, um, I'm trying to think, we find three to four multiples of the number underneath it. So we're going to find three to four multiples of three. So three times one is three. Remember, we write these right underneath our number. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And then we'll just do a fourth one. 3 times 4 is 12. So I've written those down all right underneath my 3. 3 times 1 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 4 is 12. So now I'm going to move over to our handy dandy 9 over here. And I'm going to do the same thing. So... 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 3 is 27, and 9 times 4 is 36. So, right away, we're supposed to be looking for the least common multiple, so a number that both of these factors have in common. And look right here, I see 9 and 9. Beautiful. So there we go. Um, so we already have our common denominator for 9, and now we just need to change 3. So I'm going to rewrite my favorite part. You know, Miss Hewitt, she's a stickler for rewriting the problem and apparently dropping her pen all over her. So we've got 2 thirds. And then I'm going to write 9. So, rewriting the problem, we said that 3 times 3 equals 9. And remember, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. I'm going to say that again because I know a lot of you might have forgotten that, but that is something I'm very stickler on saying. Whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So, we're going to multiply the numerator by 3 because that's what we multiply the denominator by. 2 times 3 equals 6. So our new equation is 6 ninths plus 3 ninths equals 9. Do we have common denominators now? 9 and 9. I would say we do. And now we can just add the numerators. So the 9 is going to, let me erase this little question mark we have because we're going to answer it. The 9 is going to slide over and stay on the bottom. Because we're not adding 9 and 9. We're keeping it. We already have the same common denominator. So 9 is going to stay. And then 6 plus 3 is 9. Look at that. We have a whole number now. 
So 9 over 9 also equals 1 whole. And there we go, friends. If you have got any questions about this, please um, shoot me an email. Miss Chris should give you guys my email. And then, if not, I'll also have it in the comments right here. So you guys can shoot me an email if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to watching you guys solve these problems and seeing your answers. And go ahead and um, watch another video if you would like to do another problem. So you guys have a great day, and I miss seeing your smiling faces, and I hope I get to see you guys soon. I hope you are enjoying math and these number talks, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.